Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Road to Glory series. We are presented with a conundrum here at the very beginning. We get a text from Parker, our classmate, saying, Hey Joe, we're in the same class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I found this PDF online with all the answers to our upcoming geology test. Do you want me to send you a copy? I know you football players are super busy. Now we can use the answers and save ourselves some of our energy points or don't use the answers and study ourselves. I don't want to get caught. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to have the answers be wrong. We're just going to completely ignore that. And our GPA got a small bump there, which is good. But it's a bit frustrating that that popped up to begin with, though, because what that ends up doing is when we go to our weekly agenda here. We barely have any energy to do anything like there's no real point even putting any points in the training right here. We do have an exam coming up, but I suppose, honestly, like putting points in the leadership can end up helping us out a little bit here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. We're high up on the leadership. We didn't get any skill points, but we did get an extra skill point for how well we did in our last game. Having 100 yards probably helped out with that. But now here we have Appalachia State. I'm pretty excited to see how that is going to play out. They have some pretty cool uniforms, if I recall correctly, but not nearly as cool as Coastal Carolina here. Now, what are we going to rock this week, gentlemen? Oh, the all whites are so clean. You know what? The all whites on the on the teal turf, dude. Yeah, we I think I think we have to do that. That's just way too clean. And then you guys can rock your home jerseys, which probably yeah, which do look cool. Do you have a wait, do you have like a yellow option? <gasps> they have like a Steelers option. We're doing that. Let's do this, man. Appalachian State, the Mountaineers here. They're two and seven. In theory, we should be a okay. You know, hopefully it doesn't come down to overtime like the last game did. Oh, and it's a night game and we're all oh, night game on the teal field in the all whites. Oh, this is going to look nice. This is going to look damn good. Look at those. That was half the reason I picked this school, man. The teal field plus the awesome jerseys. <laughs> that was pretty much half of it, dude. That, te that, that teal field looks so good. And these dudes look like the discount Steelers. This would be cool, man. We're sitting here at five and three, two and two within our conference. Let's see how things go. Hopefully defense just starts tearing them apart. And I hope we got the ball in the 44 here. Not bad. And hopefully Joe Nero Jr. can have just a career day against these guys. That would be fantastic. Let's see what their defense is all about. It is still the highest in difficulty, however, but they're a two and seven team. I mean, I mean how good can they really be? Now, I could give this right to my uh, tight end if that safety wants to come over. I'm just going to give it to the running back because I don't think I had enough time to even get it to my tight end there. I guess it would have been the tight end kind of like on end around. I, 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 literally, we're how many games in now? And I don't think we've ever run that place. So I didn't even know like how it worked. And there we go. Cutting outside. I mean, if nothing else, with the competition that we have here. Ooh, I wish they were in cover too. This could just end up being like a career day for Washington. We'll see. If you would just hold on to the ball, my dude. I try to get the outside receivers involved. I really do. Bennett might have a big play here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at the blocking, dude. Our running backs are going to eat. I think they are going to absolutely eat this game, which means I'm probably not going to do a lot. We're going to cut this to the right instead of to the left. I'd rather go to the strong side. Uh, all right, there was kind of silly. Why don't you just take the first down instead of trying to cut to the outside there, buddy? Speaking of eating, speaking of eating, speaking of eating, Joe Nero Jr. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Follow your blocks, gentlemen. That's how you do it. <laughs> Dude, that was actually such a sick run play. I, I, I want to see it again, frankly. He's taking in. Good block there. Good block there. Cutting on the inside. A bit of a block in the back towards the very end there, if I do say so myself. But, you know, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I'm pretty sure the receiver did have a block in the back here at the end. Watch it. Oh, no, but he didn't actually block him until it was already over. He just kind of stood there. Dude, what a play. There we go, dude. Getting some of that coach trust. And I think getting, you know, getting touchdowns, getting points, getting things of that nature, you know, uh, good yardage. I think that's what's going to help develop your player faster. Ooh, that could have been 
really bad, and we end up getting one yard out of it. I'm really hoping to use games like this one here, where, you know, clearly the opposing team's not going to be amazing, to really just put up big numbers. Oh, phew. That safety blitz worked. I didn't realize Troy Polamalu was on their team. He just blended in. He's even got the long hair. Uh, we might look for the crossing route here, but you guys know me. The one-on-one -on -one down the field, potentially. Okay, it's not one-on-one. -on -one. There we go. He's got some speed. Nice play, nice play. Coleman is over there in one-on-one -on -one with uh, their star player. If that safety comes down, I'm willing to give Coleman a chance to redeem himself. Safety's not coming down, though. Oh, boy. And I back right into him. I was trying to get up the field. Unfortunate. Eight-yard loss. Not good at all. But here we go. They called this play a lot last week, and it seems like Coach wants to keep on running it until they prove they can stop it. Why did you cut inside? Outside was so ridiculously open, and you just said, you know what, I'd rather just, you know, not run anymore. Like, are you tired? Like, what was the point of that? Hmm. <laughs> I hope this is not does not become one of those situations where uh, we play down to the level of the team that we're facing. You know, a lot of teams do that in real life. You know, if, if they're going against a great team, they play great. If they're playing against a terrible team, they play terribly. There we go. I'll take a nice little four yard scamper there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And that's Coleman. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's fine. Just don't make a play on the ball. It's cool. Don't come crying to me when you get, like, no play time. Ooh, there we go. See, at first I thought Y was going to be wide open, but then he wasn't. And then the running back, they just over-pursued that and just left the running back open. Well, it might have been over-pursued. It might have just been them blitzing, actually. But regardless, uh, worked out well. So, you know. Ain't gonna argue it. The fact that I threw that badly may have actually worked out for us. <laughs> because if I'd thrown that well, he probably would've got tackled right away, but the fact that he had to, like, come back for it there, I think was the reason why he was able to get that. Uh, the guy was dropping back in coverage. There we go! Big scamper! Get in the end zone, dude! I would love to see my running back get a touchdown that was more than, like, two yards out. Alright, we got tight end coming across. We got Coleman coming across. And, oh, that's bad. That was bad. That was bad. I, I, I should not have thrown that, dude. As soon as I let go of it, I'm like, oh, no. All right, Tuck. These guys are going to get... They're going to be, like, bumping into each other here. But I want to see about Tucker in, in the corner there. Uh, I lobbed it up to him. No such luck, though. They were just in really good zone coverage. See, a part of it is like taking the plays that you know work, but also I'm trying to find more plays that work that I can use consistently. Like that one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, by the way, that it was either that play, something similar, or it might have been RPO. It was the first ever touchdown pass I threw. It's the same receiver and everything. I'll take it. I will take it. That's two touchdowns so far for Joe Nero Jr. Let's keep it going, man. I would like a nice five touchdown game. How sick would that be? I mean, I have no delusions I'm going to win the Heisman or nothing. I'm just all about getting my players overall up. You know, getting more of those skill points, improving my player. The better I play, the better my teammates play, the better the stats they get, the more they improve. You know, it all starts with me. It really does. Not to be like, you know, the, the main character of the story or nothing like that. But, you know what I mean? The better I am, the better I can make everyone else on the team. And the better they play, the better they, it, you know, it works both ways. The better they play, the better I play. And, you know, all, all ships rise here. But when it comes to the highs and difficulty with a smaller school like this, you kind of just got to take what you can get. Speaking of which, taking what we can get here, I want to see about that. No! I wanted to see about it. I wanted to she. Uh, how about Tuck coming across here? I mean, I'm not going to take a wide open tight end. I'm, I'm not going to not take a wide open tight end, I mean to say. You guys notice I do a lot of hot routes. I think it's kind of needed. Uh, no, they swallowed me whole. 
I got greedy a little bit, though. I saw the left side of the field was just so open. I'm like, ooh. They hold these blocks. I mean, sky's the limit here, right? If Again, if they hold their blocks, dude. I swear, I have to, like, give them time to actually get their block. It, it might be a situation where they don't have enough time to, like, establish control of the person they're blocking. Or I don't even freaking know, dude. So I do notice that if I scramble too early... Mm. If I scramble too early, they, they just seem to let go of their blocks like immediately and then they get me before I can even get to the line of scrimmage. I'm that's something I've noticed a lot. Alright, defense held them. That's good. I'm kind of using this almost as like a practice game, which I know sounds mean, but I, I am very curious about like trying different plays, different routes, different, you know, different things that we can use later on in games where the other team is not two and seven. You know, obviously we still have to perform, execute, actually win the game. But the big thing for me right now is trying out some different things, you know. Like, for example, Tucker, who's on fire right now, who should be in one-on-one. -on -one. He is not, by the way. Good block. I really thought it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one over there, and then it turned out no. A car on the corner, potentially? Their star player is over there. And this dude's really fast. Should have thrown it away. But you know what? Ultimately, we didn't lose anything. Again, try, trying things here, man. Trying. You can't you, you can't give me that and expect me not to take it, man. You can't you can't give me that and not expect me to take it. Although I'm a bad I'm a, I'm a bad YouTuber, I'm a bad uh, college football player, I'm a bad everything. I didn't realize we were getting that close to the half. I miss the announcers, man. I miss the announcers. Like I should have just been paying attention. I was more focused on just like getting driving down the field and whatever. I always like assume we just have enough time. I should have even realized it was that close to halftime. <laughs> If I did, I would have, you know, maybe tried some more shots down the field or something. That was still such a crazy run play. All right. We got the ball here. Halfback draw. I feel like we should we should really be, like, putting up more points than we are. And not doing high snaps like that. But it kind of worked out. Because he only got three yards there, but I don't think he even would have gotten the three yards that he did get. If it weren't for that high snap. And here, you gotta give it to the running back. They're stacking it to the side I would run to. At least he had a chance there. Didn't really do anything with it, but there was a chance. Hmm. But. Uh. <laughs> that was a hell of a throw I had there. <laughs> All right, so that drive never happened. We're just going to ignore that. that. I don't think that just that drive ever existed. All right, we're going to see if uh, Kane will be open. And he's not, so run the ball. And now we're going to do a hurry up, because I'm getting tired of a lot of coaches' plays here. I threw it right goddamn to him, dude. I don't understand how they can have everyone blanketed so well, and I have, like, five people in my face! <sighs> God damn it, dude. I hate my throw picks. I really do. It's, like, my least favorite thing. <laughs> then we have, like, this goofy-ass RPO, which, like, is never open for the passes. You just have to run it, and, you know, running in all freaking... I was gonna call it all mad. Running on uh, Heisman difficulty, most time making it work, so when that play gets called, it's like, oh, so we're just gonna do nothing this fight. Like, we're basically just giving up on first down. I hate it! Well, oh, he was there, but then I waited too long. That's alright. No, no, we're not doing that. I'm actually okay with the inside zone here. I was not going to be doing some weird RPO play action nonsense. Get the first. There you go. There we go. We're, we need to drive down and get a free. No, we're not doing another stupid RPO. There, mountain spot. Anything, man. Anything but RPO every three plays. I would really love a new coach. <laughs> I am noticing the tight end fire has not been open like at all uh, lately. Uh, that's just a throwaway there. 
Like, usually a Titan Fire, you send him down the field like this. Uh, maybe it's because I end up, like, hot routing it so often that the defense kind of gets wise to it. I don't know. But it just ain't there as much as it used to be. If I could just have... It's Appalachian State, dude! Block! You're literally playing against Miners! And you can't hold a block? We're gonna do it our damn selves. I jumped too early. Man, the camera angle was like changing there and I was really hoping to just jump over him, get in the end zone, but... Could maybe spun move, juked him, D done anything besides the jump. I just missed time the hell out of that. I don't know. There we go! Touchdown! Oh, I want a 20 yard touchdown for the back. But at the same time, I mean, coach wants me to try to throw a touch. Who is this Duplessis on our team? Has he played a single snap for us yet? Well, he just caught a touchdown for us. <laughs> I don't think I've seen him on the field all season. <laughs> He's doing the Heisman. <laughs> Was that like his first ever catch? Who is this dude? I don't think I've seen him. I'll take it. I'm still mad about my interception, though. Against a team like this, we should be putting up massive numbers. They just, like... Oh, they, they drove down. They just, they just took a lot of time off the clock, pretty much. All right, coach. You know, there's something to be said about just running out the clock. We don't do that here. We're here to put up numbers and not just get out with a 21-6 victory. Numbers, coach. Oh, God. Speaking of numbers, how about we don't give them two? No, we're not doing a goddamn draw. Let's see if Kane, what Kane wants to do here. Uh, not going to be Kane. Pure one-on-one. -on -one. He has him beat. Underthrew him a little bit. I need to get the timing down on those deep balls, man. Because it seemed like he had him beat. I don't know if... If my quarterback's underthrowing him, or if the way I'm doing the touch pass is causing him to be a bit underthrown, I'm just not sure. One of the things I got really practice with, which an annoying aspect of this game, I don't believe there's any form of free practice. Oh, he actually caught it. Nice. I don't think there's a form of free practice at all in uh, Road to Glory, which is weird. Shouldn't you? Like, you can do your practice. This is just going to get fucking blown up. I, this is so annoying. Yep. Who would have thought? Oh, me and everybody else. But it would be nice just to be able to, like, do a free practice, random plays, you know, just practice, practice, practice. Well, that's called a zig route. Um, so I wanted to do the little jukey in and then cut back out, but... We'll see. I really need you guys to get some good pass blocking here, though. That'll do. Dialing it up. Oh, Tucker. Wait. Or Coleman, potentially, actually. Uh, that's a Tucker. Mm. I always put up a lob on those so they have a chance to... You know, you know, go out and make a play after the ball. I feel like if you just, if you go through and you just, um, like, try to fire it to him, I feel like dude's gonna pick it off every time. So you have to lob it, but maybe I'm not holding the lob enough. You know, I'm not sure. What's crazy is we don't, if we don't score here, they can, like, actually drive down. Of course, yeah, you know, why, why would we actually, like, you know, try to get a first down on third and 11? Why, why, why would we not just call a counterplay while they just completely read it and have their guys lined up perfectly to stop it as if they're on our team and looking at the playbook? They can score a touchdown and get two-point conversion and tie it up. We'd be looking at freaking overtime here because these stupid-ass play calls, man. All right, they didn't get that. No, we're, we're not kneeling. I, I just disagree with my coach on every play of this game, dude. He just calls them like, the stupidest shit all the time. I, like, I'm okay with running the ball, even. I just don't want to kneel. But they're going to make me. Oh, well. I guess I'll kneel. I was hoping for some... Honestly, I was hoping for a much better game than that. That was not an overly good performance overall. I was really hoping to put up better numbers than we did. 
Dude, I had three total touchdowns. I'd even throw for 100 yards. Like... I did run a bunch, given, but I still feel like, I don't know, just wasn't the game I was hoping it'd be. Given our opponents, I think we really should have done a lot more. But you know, a win's a win. They don't ask how, they ask how many. And we're going to have to take a look at the, uh, we can actually do that this episode. Yeah, 20, 14 completions. I averaged 3.5 yards a completion. Or per, per attempt, per attempt, I guess. 26 attempts, 91 passing yards. Like, what? I mean, I was trying, like, random shit almost, but that's just, that's just, ugh, it's ugly, dude. This ain't good, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead in the week, and we're gonna see uh, where we are in the, in the conference. I mean, we're not getting top 25 or anything like that, guys. You know, so it's, it's all about trying to, like, win the conference, trying to build a team up here. Looks like I got a skill point there, which is nice. Let's see. Going to advance our week. Week 11. We can't have that many weeks left in the season, I don't think. Uh-oh. We got the herd coming up. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. All right. Let's see. Yeah, six and three. And we're below Georgia. Wait. Why would we be below Georgia State? We have the same conference record, and we haven't played them. So in terms of that tiebreaker, they never beat us. We never played them. Did they beat teams that beat us? Did they beat Old Dominion, maybe? And that's why they're number two? Maybe that's it. Like, maybe they beat the conference teams that we lost against. I don't know. Louisiana is still 7-2. and It is 7-2. Texas is still only one loss in. Hmm. Oh, Southern Miss is 0-9 and 0-5. And and when do we play them? Do we play them? That'd be great. <laughs> uh, bowl projections. I'm actually just curious about this. I, I don't think that we would be in a bowl necessarily. Oh, we would be. We'd be at the 68 Ventures Bowl. Wherever that is, which would be against Ohio. Huh. It'd be in Mobile, Alabama, too. Well... We still got more football to play before then. Let's focus on one game at a time here. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of the College Football 25 Road to Glory series. Drop me a rating if you did, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.